Yo, what is up guys, Connor here, and I thought that I would make a uh, Slayer project video for you today. Uh, so, let's get right into this. Uh, it's going to be the Skeletal Wyverns or whatever. Well, let me change the graphic settings here for a second, it's going to lag. Um, so, uh, to kill these, what you are going to need is some very good range uh, protection, I guess, armor, um, such as dragon or barrows or anything pretty much dragon plus um, I don't recommend bringing rune and the shields that you're gonna need is you have to have a DFS if you don't have a DFS or an elemental shield um, these will constantly hit like 300s on you so um, without the dragon fire shield uh, or the elemental shield that you do get from elemental workshop one two three four something like that um, yeah without those uh, they'll constantly hit you so um, and then the rest of the gear is pretty much uh, what you see here. Um, good strength bonus is, uh, you know, recommended. It's not needed, but these things have 200 HP and they're level 140, so or 2,000 HP, not 200 HP. Um, so the inventory setup should look like this: four prayer pots, depending on your prayer level and uh, the prayer gear that you're using. If you're using what I'm using, um, four prayer pots is good. Uh, barrels, you know, maybe three, and yeah, so, and the Beast of Burden should look like this, you go to store, and it should have monkfish in it, um, you can bring sharks, you can bring rocktails, but I don't recommend it, because it'll probably break even for the task, and a lot of people think that's okay, but I like to make profit off of mine, so, let's get right into the killing of the beast, um, I've got 21 more to go, um, the first time I started doing this, this task was it was absolutely terrible. Um, I almost died, and I didn't know about the shield thing, so I bought a DFS, thinking you know that. And um, one of my friends told me, "Hey, if you bring a DFS or something like that, then you're good." Um, and those of you who are wondering, I sold my uh, my uh, dragon pickaxe when it was at its highest. It's like it was like 12 mil, 13 mil, something like that. I don't know, it was really high, uh, but I sold it for a street price. I didn't sell it on the G. So yeah. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pot up out here um, and you're going to get a warning when you click on the tunnel. Um, if you don't know how to get here, I'll show you. Hope it'll come back. Um, hopefully it doesn't lag me out. It always does that. And loading. Hold on, I'm going to pause it until the map shows up. And okay, so if your house is in Remington, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Teleport to your house with a teletap and simply run south into this dungeon right here. What you can do is you can refill your summoning uh, points right there and your prayer, your prayer points right there just in case you're low and then simply go down the dungeon. Um, so I'm going to pause it and get back onto the killing of the beasts. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought it wasn't recording. Okay, so now you're going to want to enter this dungeon after you pot it up and are praying. Yes, I'm not afraid of death. Enter in, and then you will immediately get attacked because these are aggressive. Um, and all you gotta do is simply kill them. I mean, they're gonna hit quite often. Uh, that's why you're praying range. People say pray melee, but they usually don't hit melee, depending on what gear you're using. Um, and without the DFS, their magic attack will hit 300s to 400s on you, so it's really not recommended um, to bring something other than an elemental shield or DFS, something like that. Um, and if you're wondering, Elemental shields are like, I think, 400 GP to 4, 4K um, in the Grand Exchange. So this really is an easy task. Um, you don't need to pray, but it is also recommended to do that. Simply because you can last a little bit longer here. And you still make profit by picking up the bones. And um, I'll show you once I kill this, uh, the drops that are, you know, potentially available. Okay guys, just about done killing it. There we go. Let's eat a monk fish right here. Take off prayer. Um, and what you're going to want to grab is the the crimson and the wyvern bones. Um, the ornaments aren't very uh, expensive; they're like two k each. So it's better if you just pick up the wyvern bones. And to, to set up your inventory, what I do is the extra drops that you're not usually like that you don't usually get is going to be over here. Um, yeah, so like charms and stuff are going to be on this side, and then the wyvern bones are going to be on this side. And a good trip for me, um, around my level, is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
So we're on 12 kills uh, per every single food that I have. So counting my Vista for and stuff like that. So uh, based on my stats, that's actually pretty good. Um, so uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this here. Um, I'll finish up this kill. I'll be quiet. You know, I won't talk. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, always have a nice or And as always, have a nice day. A little side note, uh, by the way, is that these give you 210 Slayer XP per each kill, um, which is pretty nice. So let's pick up these charms and the Wyvern Bones. And thanks for watching, guys.